Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create input interaction with the label. Not only learning how to style the responsive label, but also we will be setting logic for focus in and out state. Let's get started. I've already prepared the styled inputs. You can check out my previous video on how to style the inputs. Additionally, I created the text which has the same style as the input and place it over the input. Also, I added the border bottom with a rectangle shape. To start adding the interaction for the text, I will add the focus trigger assigning to the input. Then, I will add several actions under this input to perform when the input is focused. First, I will add the text with a font size of 12 pixel and a move with a white position of 268 pixel and a color the same as a button. Make sure to assign all of them to the text. When the input is focused, the text is changed to 12 pixel and move to the white position and change the color to beige. Next, add a scale assigning to the border with 4 pixel height and color to beige. Make sure to assign both to the border. You can see now also the border changes its height and color on the focus state. However, when I exit the input, it stays as focus style. I will add the new trigger focus for the input, selecting the focus out. This will define the behavior when the input is not focused. Here, I will add the reset action for the text and the border. Now when we exit, the input comes back to the inactive state. But again, when I type in and exit, the text overlaps with the input text. To solve this, we can add a condition. To briefly explain about condition, the condition is a parameter of the trigger, which makes the trigger perform only when the condition is met. There are several options for these parameters. In our case, I will make a condition that the text of the input to be equal to an empty value. Then I will move the reset the text under this condition. This means the input will reset the text only when the input is empty. This also means that the input won't reset when there is a text in the input. The reason why I'm not moving the reset the border is that I want the bottom border to reset when I focus out whether the input has text or not. Now, when I type in and focus out, the text stays small, but the border is back to default. When I delete the text and focus out, the text goes back to default. That's it for today. I hope you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to get updates for upcoming videos. See you soon!